What's the big deal with customer stories? Why do customer stories matter so much in B2B? Every aspect of selling and marketing is storytelling. As a marketer, I have relatively little credibility with my target audience. They know I'm paid to promote things. They're going to be skeptical of what I say. So when a third party says it, when a customer says it and says, I actually got value and here's what it did for me, that's the kind of thing that goes much, much further than traditional marketing. It's what people pay attention to. So true. And you've been a marketing leader for quite some time now, including at Trust Radius, one of the companies, in my opinion, at the forefront of customer storytelling. What have you seen and how have you seen kind of your customer stories evolve or, or change over your career? Some of my earliest marketing roles were in product marketing. And so customer stories often rolled up to product marketing. It was, hey, we need a customer story about this type of client. Can you go get one? Which I loved because you learn your customers, you learn your product, you learn your market by doing that. But back in the day, it was very curated. It was, let me get a customer story. Let me polish it. Let me run it through legal a dozen times. And what you're going to get is this very perfect little jewel but it's also a little bit like an overproduced movie or something where you go, I don't believe it was that easy for Frodo and Sam to get up the side of Mount Doom. I think there had to be a heck of a lot more grit and mud and tough stuff along the way. And what the evolution is people are embracing that authenticity, stepping away from I want a perfectly curated case study and into I want to know what actual users say, both the good stuff and the bad stuff. And intriguingly, if you only give them the good stuff, it doesn't build trust because they assume you're holding something back. So they want the full picture.